morning all. Ah, you see what I did there? Yeah, it's morning here. And I'm nursing a hell of a hangover. So let's see how this one goes. Basically, this one is a look at dominations. Um, domination maps, I think, are something I know I've spoken about before, but maybe never really looked at maybe the tactics behind winning them because they are actually quite particular um, events. There's certain ways you can win them. Now, let's talk about them. The first one is, is a pretty much an obvious one, is uh, Sp uh, spawn pad, spawn pad, spawn pad, spawn pad, spawn pad, spawn pad. Um, you need as many of them as you can get. Um, certain spawn pads you can actually deploy two of. I think it's the gauged. So th they're actually pretty good. If you're going to run um, domination, and, and obviously the benefits of running domination are usually only 10 minutes or so map. Usually you get some very good fights because everything's concentrated in one place. Um, and usually I think you uh, you get some good rewards as well. You'll probably get quite a few kills. So it's a, I always see it as a bridge between ambush and skirmish. To me, I, I generally run um, dominations now just because they seem to be pretty good. So, But anyway, here we go. So spawn pad, spawn pad, spawn pad. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, pretty much that tells you all you need to know right there. Um, we were playing vacuum cleaner and they obviously, they must run continually <laughs> these things and they they have figured out all of the little places to drop spawn pads where even a flaylock won't get them. Um, you can, obviously if you spend time you can start to, uh, to, to expunge them but basically they had a, about seven or eight spawn pads dropped on the joints pretty much knowing that they cannot be got. So for this map, for the, you know, that's broken, so use that tactic, exploit it to hell because everybody else is. And I think, um, as you can see, just having you know a huge amount of spawn pads right here means that you're going to be straight into the action. Um, without spawn pads, you're just going to get pushed back. So that leads me on next to my next point, is anti-spawn pads. You need to be also um, pretty much playing the game with the view that you have to remove all spawn pads when you come across them. There's a funny, I, I got a fantastic mail from somebody from, um, I think it's Seraphim, and he was saying, um, you know, I play really weirdly or something like that, because they couldn't work out why I was running, because my scout suit's fast, I was running through the center of their gang, not shooting any of them, firing, and then running out the other side, and they were like, oh, lol, you keep missing. The reality was is that every single time I was killing every single spawn pad I could find. That's my service to the team here. And again, I'm you know I get I, I get a lot of kills with the flaylock, um, which you know is another topic. But <laughs> I, I get a huge amount of kills with the flaylock. Um, anyway, so I, you know to me the way to win the match is by completely removing their spawn pads and. To be quite honest with you, you know, this is this is pretty much win or lose tactic right there. Your ability to see a spawn pad, go at it, kill it, get out is is just invaluable. We played domination, I think, probably all night, and maybe we did about ten matches. We lost two. Pretty much by having this tactic of, um, you know, every time we saw a spawn pad, you know, the whole squad would scream spawn pad and we would run and the whole gang pretty much was trying to get rid of them. Um, now, this is where I think the clever deployment of them can counter that, that tactic. And obviously, as you saw, we couldn't do it on this map. But again, we were bringing it. We were having a really good um, round um, and I think it was working quite well. Um, the next one is probably squad orders. People always forget to put squad orders on. You should because you get like a, you know, you get a, a percentage in increase um, in your war points, meaning orbitals come quicker. I think it's something very much to bear in mind. Um, another thing to probably think about is also try and have a range of fits, because I think a lot of people, <clears throat> they they have their favorite fit, probably a Caldari Lodgy, probably with a Scrambler Rifle, Ooh. and uh, people, that's, that's all people run. Try and have a range of stuff, because it doesn't hurt sometimes to have a scout suit, sometimes have a forge gun ready. Um, I know a lot of people do generally have these, but I would say it's, it, you'll be surprised how often people don't. And when I say a range of fits, I mean, you know, if, uh, for example, I run a scout suit, I have six fits now with this. I have AV grenades, I have a swarm launcher, I have ammo packs, I have spawn pads, I have medical revival. You know, all of these are different fits ready to be picked. The next big point I'd probably say is uh, supply depots. Supply depots are life. They are mother, they are father, they are your life. Um, if you don't take supply depots, or if you if you let your enemy have them, and they will congregate around them, they will fit uh, to own you, and you will die. 
And I would say that, you know, Nexus spawn pads, supply depots are pretty much essential. Because um, it's not just for the ammo. Ooh, there we go, all the tools. But it's not just for the ammo. Ammo is, is easy. You can just have ammo packs for that. But it's the ability to um, to refit. So when you see someone trundling a tank in, you can refit to AV. When you see um, maybe a gang of lodgies, when you see something, you, you basically have the ability to react to it. Um, and I would say don't underestimate this at all. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, the, these are the key, I mean, they're, they're pretty obvious, I guess, you know, ammo, spawn, you know, all that stuff. Reviving is also quite a good thing as well, I think. Um, I, I tend to like revival if I can, as you can see I've got my revival fit here. Um, but I would say probably the issue with it is, is that it's not always, um, it's not always possible to do it, let's say. <laughs> Particularly because you'll see in, um, in these maps you'll get swarmed. Um, I think the, the good thing about Dominations is, is they absolutely um, train you how to be um, an attacker or a defender. I think they do it better than Skirmish ever could. So I think for PC battles and training for PC, they're probably quite good as well because the whole squad learns how to assault a particular place and then actually, you know, gain benefit from it. Um, I, I quite, I think they're good. I really do. And I have a lot of, um, uh, of, of, of hours racked up doing domination maps. Let's talk about vehicles. Now, a lot of the time you can use vehicles in quite a clever way. The best one I've seen for a while is this little container here with the capture point in it. Get an LOV, drive it in there, and switch between the seat left and right with your Reparon. <laughs> it's a pretty shitty mechanic, but it seems to be the way that people are uh, going nowadays. As you can see with the spawn pads, people are figuring this game out. This is also a bad thing, and again, I'm, you know, I think now I've spoken many times about this, but the fact that people are figuring this game out so much, it's like Eve, where people, that, that such deep ingrained knowledge that people have discovered um, is going to cause the problem because it means that it's going to be very difficult for new, new people coming into the game. The ranking system that is needed in this game could not come quick enough, I think, at the moment because I just can only imagine what people are thinking when they download this game. Looks good, they play it, they get dominated and annihilated by <clears throat> you know, people like me who've played it for a year. They need to be gone, from, you know, that needs to be separated because it's just going to really put people off. And unfortunately, games like this, the, you know, the veterans aren't enough. To, this isn't Eve, where they rely on, a, you know, a regular stable cash cow, which is, you know, um, guaranteed income of X <clears throat> every month. This is this is a game which is transient, so they desperately need to have people coming, uh, you know, new into the game. Otherwise, it will be just switched up. Anyway, that's another topic entirely. Just doing a bit of melee action there. Um, so I think the next thing probably to talk about here is um, tanks can swing it. Um, tanks can be something that um, you can call in a tank and it can completely sway the battle. Um, I would say that, you know, depending on your support of the tank, there are, there are a few um, maps where maybe a tank is a very bad idea, but I would say um, once you've captured the point, pretty much the most important thing to have is the defense of that point. And what I mean is, is the ability to look upon that capture point and stop anybody hacking it. So, for example, this map's quite a difficult one to do that because you're quite exposed. But there are certain maps where you can get onto the elevated gantries and you can sit with a tactical AR, even the laser or a forge gun, and you can pretty much deny any hack. And again, this is if you want to win these things, that's how you do it. You have to do these, I guess, questionable tactics. But um, again, you know, to be honest, most people blindly run in and try capturing it. If you set up a little squad, you know, with a bit of ammo, you can just sit there all map and you can just literally dominate um, and make it so it's almost impossible to capture. I mean, you know, I've seen people calling in vehicles uh, in, in places where you can't even get vehicles, you know, effectively. Um, to try and block a sniper or block a forge gunner or whatever it may be and it, it's pretty sad to be honest because um, again you know the mechanics of the game mean that you've, you've got fixed points every time so there are there are teams in the game unfortunately we are one of them that as soon as you see the map on the overview screen you think right I'll do this this and this and then we've won and it's unlikely unless we meet another team who has the same you know knowledge the same capture information that they're not you know we're going to lose and and this is why we i think you know we went 10 and 2 uh, 8 and 2 last night um which is sort of, you know it's, it's part of the game you can't um can't be too sort of uh, negative about it but 
I think that's certainly something to really look at. So again, let's recap spawn pads. Look at your fits. Uh, your um, uh, you know, certainly look at maybe using vehicles as well. I think definitely supply depots are your friend. I would absolutely use them. Um, as you can see here, basically was able to get to my supply depot, refit to AV, boom, nice tank kill. <laughs> and that's it. That's really all you need to do. Just have this kind of you know, regular um, approach to these game, uh, to each map. Understand each map, understand where to sit, understand where to drop spawn pads that can't be killed. Um, and you'll probably win. And there we go, victory. And we, we had an absolute blast with this one. This was Vacuum Cleaner and I believe What the French. And um, sadly What the French dropped out at the end. Um, that they were there, I am reassured. <laughs> but it was good because, again, really good opponent, fantastic team. Um, and it was it was one of these kind of battles that you really you kind of hope for because it was just really frantic um, and fun. So there we go. What did I get? 20, 20 and thirteen. Not too bad. Um, yeah, not too bad. Happy with that. I think you know again people have their views on the Flaylock. You're wrong. <laughs> it's a great gun. Um, we'll talk more about I think next time some weapons for these things. But hopefully that's a good kind of intro for one. Um, you know these things, these domination maps are good fun, and you'll you'll pretty much always get a frantic fight from them. So um, well worth doing. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.